Hey guys, today I'd just like to share some information with you guys in regards to converting an alternator to a BLDC motor, something similar to this project that I'm busy with. Okay, so I'm not going to be converting this one today. I'll just share a bit of information so you guys can know what to expect and why this does work and yeah, how you can do it. So basically you get your alternator. So an alternator is basically wired the same as a three-phase motor. So the only th difference between this and an induction motor is this runs on a coil that uh, generates uh, power as soon as you supply the voltage uh, to the rotor. So let me see if I can demonstrate that for you. So this is the rotor. Just put this from somewhere around there. There you go. So yeah, and you connect positive and the negative. It's like this. Okay. So now I've connected the poles of the rotor to a twelve volt battery. So if you see now it's got magnetic power so everything you put to it will stick so it's still you won't be able to see this but this actually does have a north south north south all the way it's got north south north south north south poles all the way around and um, that's basically the same idea that's used in BLDC motors uh, they just got permanent magnets instead of a magnetized electromagnets Right, so then we get into the alternator. So basically, alternator's got a built-in reg uh, regulator and rectifier. So this is where you connect your leads to, and it charges your battery. Okay, so let's just turn it around. So inside there, you can see you get your di diode pack and all the electronics needed for this alternator to be able to work as an alternator. Okay, let's have a closer look here. So basically, when I open this alternator up, you get different types of alternators. So this one, uh, specifically, uh, it's only got three wires. So the fourth wire is there, but it's um, it wasn't connected to the diode pack. So this is basically an alternator that's connected three phase star. And this particular one is also connected three phase star. So yeah, it's got four wires, not three. So how do you know which wires do you use for the phases and which one is the common wire so if you look closely to these wires this one specifically you can see this one's got a lot of wires going into it so this is your common connection and these one two three these will be your star connection so you can connect the alternator in star or you can connect it in delta so most of the times I do prefer delta because it's got more power more torque uh, because if you connect it in star, basically the voltage is divided uh, among the coils, so each one gets a share of that voltage. So you divide the voltage basically by three. With delta, each one of the, the coils inside the three coils uh, gets, uh, say you put 12 volt into it, each one of those coils gets 12 volts. So basically you get a bit more torque, so it is a bit stronger. So for e-bikes, I prefer delta. So if you want to convert this one to delta, then you disconnect these three coils here and then you're going to loosen this one. And this one you're going to split the wire, then you're going to test with the multimeter uh, which ones are paired. So one wire will go there, one will go there, one will go there, or if they're two, 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 you'll see two, two, two will go there. So then you split those coils, then you connect the coil, uh, coil number one, so lead is open, then um, uh, the other end of coil number one goes to coil number two. Then uh, the other end of coil number two goes to coil number three. And then the other end of coil number three goes back and joins the coil of coil number one. So in that way, you've got basically uh, three connections again. And you just um, solder leads onto that and it'll be delta. So yeah, I just, just wanted to share that bit of information with you guys. You can understand how the alternator works, how to convert it to a motor. 
and the difference between star delta and how the electromagnet works. So also something that I've come across is like with these electromagnets, you get 12 volts, 24 volts, all these different type of magnets. So I found that the 12 volts uh, one do work better than the 24 volt ones. I don't know for what reason, but the 24 volt one seems to consume a bit more power and amperage and they do not seem to supply the voltage required. Maybe if you've got a massive controller, you might be able to run them a little bit better, but the 12 volt ones do seem to work a little bit better on these type of conversions. And this one I kept star, because um, that's the way I found it. So I didn't want to mess around with the windings, because it's quite complex to, um, inside there it's got like a connection. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, where is that connection? So there is your common connection. So you have to split those three wires and then take them to the individual coils to be able to connect the delta. So as this is just a new alternator that I bought, I want to try it that way. I've uh, have, uh, built a MOPEP on this type of alternator and like I said, I can get to about 60 kilometers an hour, no problem. So the only thing I changed on this one due to it being a bigger motorcycle is just added a gearbox onto it. So yeah, it's your choice, you can go Delta or Star. Yeah, so that's it from my side. That's basically how all this works and how you can basically use it to turn it into a BLDC motor.